Margo and Leo. An odd couple indeed. Many would wonder what it is you see in one another. You could not be more different. This potential weakness can be turned into a complementary strength. It is a matter of balance. But only if you recognize it. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to take this man. I don't know how to feel about all this voice. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it's really foreboding, but I feel like... I should take his wisdom. <laughs> that is a good wisdom. This is a good wisdom. <laughs> The light fades out again, and I feel like I'm about to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> and we get another prayer now. Rachel reaches for it, smiling. Looks like we're not the greatest match. He was just being, he was being downright hopeful. You should have heard the reaming he's given to me and Chloe. <laughs> Complimentary strength. Rachel winks at me. I want to hear what they freaking said about her and Chloe. It's like we talked about synergy, Max. Synergy! <laughs> Rachel reaches for a cigarette. I want her to light up and squint into the afternoon. I watch. Oh, I watch her. I want her to do it. I, <laughs> I want. <laughs> I want her. I want her to do it. <laughs> I, wa I watch her light up and squint into the afternoon sun. This is where we. Aw, oh, man. That'd be cool if you take a picture with that disturbing machine. <laughs> We should get back to Blackwell soon. We don't want people to see us sneaking back and assuming something we were up to to some scatters, right? Salacious, it said. <laughs> I don't give one single what? fuck. But is that a word? Let's ask Siri. Salacious. Hey dude, what does salacious mean? Checking on that. Have two definitions of salacious. The first one is characterized by lust. Oh. Suggested of or tending to moral looseness. So slutty. Oh. She somehow learned advanced words for slutty. <laughs> well, I'm sure she's seen most of the words for her with the graffiti all over the <laughs> Someone graffitis on the school. <laughs> Rachel is salacious. <laughs> Rachel she is was salacious. just like, excuse me. What does that mean? And then she had to look it up. <laughs> The graffiti about her expanded her vocabulary. <laughs> the more we know. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> she gives me a nudge with one eyebrow raised. Of course she's being suggestive as a joke. That's just her nature, I think. Yeah, uh, that we should get back to Blackwell. I mean, I think there's a bus stop close by. Bella de la I just want Max to be like in her mind being what is salacious mean? <laughs> <laughs> well Rachel and I chat about all sorts of things on the bus ride back. We have a lot in common when it comes to geeking out about photography at least. Even though she's more interested in being in front of the camera instead of behind it, Rachel really knows her stuff. When we get off the bus, we pass by the parking lot. Rachel glances towards it, sees something, and freezes. She groans. Right. It's your hooker boyfriend, huh? <laughs> she does not look happy. I follow her gaze towards an RV. I know that RV. Well, not personally. I just know that whoever lives in there used to sell weed to Chloe and Rachel. That is probably where the Vortex Club stocks up on party supplies. I know that RV, but not personally. <laughs> I mean, I saw him at a party one time, but he was like really drunk. <laughs> it's really old looking and a little creepy. I notice that there's a dog tethered up outside, sleeping on the asphalt. We both take a seat on the curb together. Rachel starts on another cigarette. I can't believe Frank still does business here. Frank? That's his name? What a loser. Yeah. Oh, um, why didn't you and Chloe find a new, uh, dealer anyway? Did he spike your drugs? I don't know anything about any of that stuff. I just know that they stopped seeing the RV guy and started buying from someone else about half a year ago. Because we broke up and it was fucking awkward and I could never figure it out and explain it to Chloe so I just told her that we could get a better deal from someone else. <laughs> broke up? Wait! Wait a second, the hamster wheel is turning! <laughs> Max, your hamster wheel is very small. <laughs> uh, Frank was the person Rachel was talking about in the makeup store. Rachel's ex-boyfriend has been the guy in the RV all along. Yeah, we were... 
I guess we were dating. Seems like this might be an opening to finally appease a bit of my curiosity. Or my natural nosiness is taking over. I like that her face is just stuck. It's like, oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Papadoo! <laughs> you know, I remember the name. <laughs> I like the name. Papadoo! Papadoo! I might just name my dog Papadoo, because it's so cute! It's a cute name, right? Who? Freaking adorable name. Pop -a -doo. Pop -a -doo. You could just shorten it to Pop. Pop 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 Richard's tire smile gets a little brighter. He's the one thing I miss unconditionally. I wish I could still see him without it getting weird. But I don't think Frank would want to talk visitation rights. Still. She laughs self-deprecatingly, but she does seem a little wistful. Steal the dog. <laughs> Steal the dog. <laughs> uh. I don't know if we have to look at all of these again or do it. Don't know. I don't, I don't know if it increased her affection or lowered it. It seemed like she wanted to talk about all this stuff. Oh, what kind of person is Frank? It's a go. Tell me about Frank. Is he cool? <laughs> what kind of a uh, person is Frank? Other than being a drug dealer. Tattooed. Always ready for a fight. Any weeks of acts. Oh my god. Oh, like I said last time. Sounds like my kind of kid. <laughs> sounds like my kind of dude. <laughs> sounds... Awesome! I mean, scary! What? <laughs> he's not. He's a puppy dog. But he wasn't on drugs anyway. I like his puppy. Her expression falters. I... I liked him because he liked my Santa Monica dream. I love that song! <laughs> yeah. Yeah! <laughs> she smiles at me. He never made me feel like he was stupid or impossible. It was just totally in, 100%. Or at least he said he was. He understood what I wanted. He said he was ready to support me in whatever way I needed. That meant a lot to me. Well. Wow. But we didn't work out. We weren't really good for each other. He was a different person when he was on drugs. He was a hooker. And I wasn't exactly an angel either. We didn't said a lot of hurtful shit to one another. I don't like to hold on to regrets, but maybe if I'd known beforehand how things were going to go, I might never have... It just shakes her head instead of finishing her sentence. I'm still going to try for my dreams, with or without him. Rachel's relationship with Frank sounds like it was really complicated. I feel like... And they say like they did things when they got on drugs. Did they like start fist fights or something? I don't know. He was like, we, we said and did things. I was like, did you just like, man, I hate you, I hate you too. And they start it's... beating on each other real hard. I don't know. The RV is creepy, dude. The RV kind of creeps me out. It's kind of a bummer. Oh, Frank's not creepy, I promise. As sketchy as Stall looks. He's not creepy? <laughs> well, I... I used to feel that way. I don't know. I planned on Frank and the RV being my ticket to LA. Oh, so that's why you don't really like him. No, it's not why I dated him. Richard runs a hand through her hair. When I started to like him, it was sort of like an accident. I didn't mean to, but it happened that way. And things used to be pretty good. But some people just aren't meant to be together, you know what I mean? I don't love. because I have no experience in the area, but, uh... Yeah, love happens, dude, you know? I wonder how a girl like Rachel can wind up with a guy like Frank. But I've heard a lot of different things about Rachel, too, and not all of them have been nice. I spent the last year letting my assumptions about Rachel form my impression of her without ever really trying to get to know her. I never thought for a second that I might be wrong. If my horoscope is right, my life's about to change anyway. Your horoscope is right, because you're going to nail that modeling contract, right? I look at her sideways. Rachel looks a little weary. The perfect image I'd had of Rachel. 
it's not true to who she really is, is it? But that's not a bad thing. I want to learn more about her. I want to know everything about her. It's a weird feeling. I don't know if I've ever really had it before. Rachel's sitting right next to me, but it's still like, I want to reach inside of her and see everything. I'll pull out her heart. I want Rachel to trust me. Is that weird? Am I weird? You're a little weird, Max, but that's not weird. To be honest, Max, this has been my dream for my whole life. And the stars have suddenly aligned just like that. I should be happy. I should be so fucking happy. But now, I just don't know. I've been doubting everything about myself. I want to go and never look back. But I... But I... I think I get it. Or at least I hope I do. You've got this, girl. Got You've got this, Rachel! I know you do! You're amazing! We're amazing! I'm amazing! <laughs> You're smart and driven, and I've never seen you fail at anything before. Ever! Chloe knows it, and everyone else in school knows it. I know it! You're awesome! Rachel gives a short laugh, and then reaches to snub out her cigarette on the pavement. Thanks, Max. I know I was being a little bitch for worrying. I have no right to complain about this. Getting like this over a modeling contract is about as first of all problem as you can get. Oh man, I'm gonna be a model. I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> Boo, you whore! <laughs> You're going, You gotta blow it out of the water! Rachel's smiling at me, but her gaze is a little unfocused. Did I say the right things? Yes. I really hope so. Yes. Wonder why we've never really hung out alone before. I'm glad we are now, Max. Rachel reaches out and grasps at my hand. Her squeeze is really strong. I can feel my cheeks heating. Mm. Can't believe the Rachel Amber's giving me this kind of attention. It makes me feel special. Me too. I'm so glad I'd be worried though as Maslow, does she give everybody this attention? <laughs> <laughs> Those three words don't seem like enough. I'm a little sorry when Rachel lets go of my hands. Look, I've got to go see if I still have time to hand in an assignment. But maybe I'll be able to catch you later. I wasn't planning on leaving the dorms at all tonight. I was just going to brainstorm some ideas for our pick at the underpass. So sure! I can't wait. She's looking me right in the eyes. Her expression is so gentle. I still feel kind of warm all over. And the feeling doesn't go away even once she's already left. Ba -da -da. Ba -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> you know how like the day before the contest, doesn't she like stay up all night or something? And she's like, I should have invited you over. I wonder if she'll invite us over this time. <laughs> that would be nice. The rest of the school day passes in a haze. I spend most of it thinking about our rage. I mean, photo shoot tomorrow. Yeah, and about Rachel. <laughs> yeah, and about Rachel. And about Rachel, yeah. And as the final bell rings, I get a text from her. Oh my god. It meant a lot to me that you listened today. I've never really admitted anything like that before to anyone. Not even Chloe. Thank you, Max. I'll come knocking later. You better answer. Heart. Heart. <laughs> she sent a heart. She sent a heart to us. <laughs> I'm totally beat by the time I make it back to my room. After tossing my back on to the floor and checking on Lisa, I sink on my bed. <laughs> I sink into my chair and pull out my laptop. I would be on my bed with my laptop, to be honest. Yeah, but that's bad. It melts. It's gotta be on a hard surface or the vent doesn't work properly. Eh. <sighs> but ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I know that Rachel and I need to have our contest photo done and handed on. Actually, they have those things that you put on your lap to put your laptop on. That's not comfortable for shit. Believe me, I know. It's not comfortable. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a giant plank of wood on your lap with your laptop on it? It's not comfortable. You'd rather just sit at a desk because then you're just like, you have a desk on you in your bed. <laughs> but I want to lay down. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> 
Which means that tomorrow is really the only day we've got to take it. And that's bad news for me, because I don't know how to Whoops. take pictures. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> and that's bad news for me, because I'm quickly realizing that I've got... I haven't got any clue what the photo should look like. It should look like Rachel. Something like <laughs> a picture? Something like you took it. <laughs> I mean, Rachel's so gorgeous that taking a good photo of her would probably be easy at pointing my camera in her direction and pressing the shutter. But we don't need a good photo. We need an amazing photo. Something artistic. I want this photo to fit the contest theme. Bonds. But I don't. But I want to express the bond between photographer and model. I just keep going. What? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You pressed enter and it was like, I want to go back to your main me No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I even want it to express the bond that's been growing between me and Rachel as people. Just not, a, just, not just an artist and a muse. And if I'm anything close to an artist, Keep on, no. Oh, as if I. Okay, as if I'm anything close to an artist. Keep on dreaming, Maggie. What's with your confidence level? I scroll through the folder on, of scanned photographs on my desktop, trying to view my own work with an objective eye. I mean, Max, your whole thing is to be a photographer, and you gone to a school for specifically photographer stuff. Why do you feel so bad about your photography stuff? Mm. I don't understand. I pause on a photo of an alleyway. I remember taking this when I lived in Seattle. My friend Christine and I would walk around Kristen. downtown. Christine and Kristen. I would... <laughs> Christian and I would... Kristen. <laughs> Kirsten and I would... <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> Kristen and I will. Kristen and I would walk. <laughs> yes, Master Kristen and I would walk around downtown looking for unusual things to take pictures of. Like, I don't know. A frog. <laughs> it's grungy and orange tinted from the, street, from the streetlights. And there's an abandoned mannequin leaning against. That's terrifying. <laughs> leaning against the bricks. It should look dark and foreboding, but through my lens it just looks boring. What kind of photographer takes such a dull shot of such an interesting place? The underpass Rachel showed me is so cool and I was excited about getting to take a photo of her there. But if it comes out as flat as this one, you might as well not hand it in at all. See, I don't know how to be a photographer because I don't know how that works. Yeah, me neither. My stomach clenches as the anxiety swells. Take a long, slow breath and then close the folder. What I need isn't to remind myself of my mistakes. What I need is inspiration. I pull up a search engine and I think for a moment, more carefully typing Five Nights at Bread <laughs> Soltar Machine. <laughs> Soltar Machine. <laughs> Predictions true. <laughs> Am I going to die? <laughs> Virgo plus Leo love match. <laughs> Richard Avedon plus woman in the mirror. Why do you type the plus? You just gotta put Richard Avedon woman in the mirror. <laughs> mm. The result load. Results load. My screen filling up with beautiful black and white images. I begin clicking through trying to see what was so important to Rachel in this photo book. Each photo is carefully set up, framed, and posed. Very few of the shots look candid. I've always noticed a really deliberate quality to Avedon's work. Victoria Chase's photos always make me think of his. She puts a lot of effort into getting things exactly right. A lot of like he did. As for me, I almost the complete opposite. I like taking photos candid. <laughs> candid. Candy. <laughs> when people aren't necessarily ready for them. Candid. I've always loved the idea of capturing a moment just as it exists. But it feels like I'm seeing Avedon's work. Is it Avedon or Evdon? Avedon. Avedon. Avedon's. 
Evadon's work for the first time now. The women in the photos are co coiffed and composed and ready for the camera, but these photos feel incredibly honest, too. As if Avedon actually knew these people. It's like he talked to them or something before he took a photo of them. I didn't he just think they were human props. Huh. <laughs> Maybe we should do the same thing. <laughs> or something less controlling. A photographer might never have found or even known about. Because he never talked to them. <laughs> we have Girl Scout cookies downstairs. <laughs>